What's up guys? In this video, I just kind of wanted to point out something that we often see um, with older, or these aren't actually that old, um, maybe 15 years old, um, but cabinets that we run into in the finishing world that were done with uh, some of the uh, old school solvents like lacquer and conversion varnish and stuff. Um, as that um, coating ages, you'll often see it kind of flake off and it takes a little bit of the stain there with it um, so what we have to do sometimes is come in and uh, color match that stain and then we'll uh, lightly sand this this door um, and then go back over it with a clear coat uh, and the goal is to you know fix that flaking issue make sure that we've got any um, that's that's not adhering well it looks like Maybe there was some expansion and contraction in this joint, and it um, caused the you know it's a it's a hard coating, but it caused that to to crack and and flake off, and then you know with hand oils and things like that, the um, it caused the um, coating to fail even more. So our goal is to go back over that and put a modern coating over it. Uh, we use a water-based uh, WB two K. Um, and that'll seal all that in. We just got to make sure that we get off anything that's, um, uh, um, is already failing. And then we color match that and, uh, it should be good to go. And I'll post, uh, before and after pictures later. So with these doors, we need to make sure that we have any of the, um, flaking finish off and the best way to do that is to take a razor and just run it across and if there's any remaining loose finish that razor will pull it right off just like that you'll notice most of this is still in good shape it's just in a few parts where it's flaking so we just need to finish getting that off and then we'll fill that in with our uh, steeler, sealer and stain mix what's up guys I'm following up on my previous video where we've got this uh, solvent based uh, stain and clear coat that's failing on these um, cabinet doors. I just wanted to show you how I'm approaching some of these worst spots. Um, right here I've got um, some Renner stain and I've actually mixed it with some sealer. It's it's about 50-50 uh, spray stain uh, and 3-2-1 sealer and I'm just using a little um, artist brush with a, a very fine point on these uh, the, the worst doors um, to fill that in after I, I've color matched the paint and um, this this prevents the stain from from getting on the other parts of the door that um, are, are really in, in fair shape I mean it's you know we've, we've got good adhesion it's not cracking they're they're dirty right now where we have um, you know um, kind of sanded them a little bit with uh, a red um, Brillo pad as we clean them um, but um, you know the finish is actually in pretty pretty decent shape except for these these parts of th that have been affected um, just from you know cracking probably some a little bit of moisture um, exposure you know to hand oils and such um, but I just want to show you what this looks like And I'm just lightly going over this. And the reason I added the sealer was because there's a little bit of, um, you know, of a, a void left where the paint has come off. And I want to try and fill that in. And I also want to um, make it a little easier to spread than 
um, the stain itself, you know, especially a spray stain is very uh, thin. And you'll see that there's still a little bit of a color difference even after I put the stain on there. That's okay. Uh, we'll come back through with some toner um, on the edges uh, to even this out some more before we put on our final clear coat. So this is after I have done a uh, seal coat on the door and you can see where I, I'm sanding back here a little bit. The color is a lot better than what it was, um, but we still got a little more work to do. And I previously said that I was going to tone this out, but it's a little jagged so I'm worried um, that the uh, toner won't be even. So I'm going to keep working with my artist brush and go ahead and give that another coat. I've just sanded it um, smoother uh, and I'm going to go ahead and, and hit it with the artist brush again. Just try to, to even out that color a little bit better and you can see I'm not really trying to lay on too much and this will actually kind of pull up and it'll be uneven. Um, and then I'll sand it back a little bit, um, which normally you don't want to sand your stain, uh, but since I've mixed this with sealer, um, it, it actually works okay. I can sand it back a little bit uh, without removing the stain. It's okay if it puddles up because it'll just a little, you know, you don't want a lot, but you want to give yourself something to sand on and kind of fill in those voids where the uh, old finish had come off. As you can see, the chips are all gone. We don't have any failing finish anymore. Um, so this one is ready to go.